in Atlanta. How are you doing today? Yes, good. How are you? Great. I'm good. You are on with Claire and Jamie. And what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I've got a proposition for you. Um, I don't on the think air? that any. Oh sure. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Not that kind. <clears throat> I was going to say, my birthday is um, not for a couple, another couple days. So, um, okay, sorry. well, happy Good birthday, day. really. Thank you. Uh, what were um, you going to... Yeah. I've, I've been following you folks on YouTube for quite a while. And I, I have had different uh, thoughts and c- conclusions. And to find out that someone... On, on, and your group has also had that. But I feel that uh, theists and deists should not be calling you people. Why? Mm, why? I feel like um, making a joke about you calling us you people, but um, <laughs> why? Well, us, 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 I'm sorry, us. No, I, um, I mean, <laughs> why don't you think that theists should be calling us? Okay, um, I'm going to give you a visual. Okay, uh, think about an ocean, and then think about an island, and you're a Christian admiral on the ocean fighting the waves. I think you should be fighting the ocean and not the island. The ocean being that make sense to you? other no. Christians the and the island other, being... Other religions. Ah, okay. Interesting. It's interesting that you. Wow. Sorry, I like analogies too much not to not to think about this. So it's one. I think a weakness that the boat and the ocean are the same kind of thing, but I think it's a strength that you're making it clear that atheism isn't the same as another religion. But in any case, um, I think that you should probably outline what you think the consequences of that is, as far as if there's something that they should be doing. So, like, what, what would the results well, be? Well, I, I, I find it interesting that, um, according to Matt and Christopher Hitchens, if I'm right, there's a thousand different Christian um, sects out there. Is that correct? Yeah. They call them denominations because sects well, sounds too I, much I call like them sects. sects. Yes. But um, isn't it interesting that there's a thousand different ways of looking at one book? Yes, I think it is interesting. I think it is a testament to uh, the how poorly the, it was written. Well, they, I was <laughs> going to say the flexibility of the human mind. Like, there's actually great classics in literature. People are still writing various theses and and papers and analyses on. True enough. Yeah, someone told me once right. that there was an analysis of Uncle Tom's Cabin where someone was a sadomasochist, and so they wanted to... Whatever. Uh, people yeah, people have uh, many ways of interpreting and reinterpreting and misinterpreting books. Um, I think that's interesting. I think Christians do sometimes argue with each other. But, sometimes, uh, yeah. Here yeah. and there. Right. <clears throat> You've got uh, people like Frank Turek. Uh, Kent Hovind, uh, Cy Ten, they've all got different interpretations. And um, they, they cater to the average IQ that people don't have their back, background to fight them with. Does that make sense? I mean, it does, but it seems unrelated. I yes. I understand what you're saying, but it seems unrelated to your main point. And it's a generalization. Okay. That I'm yeah, not I'm, sure not, I'm, I'm not sure with. I agree with. But to, if your if your main point is they would be better off arguing amongst each other. Oh, oh, no, 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 not, not better off. Um, Do you mean it would be I more think reasonable? That they're wasting their time. What they don't realize is that island in the middle of an ocean has got a very big volcano under it, and it's exploding. So you, are so you, you think that this? Sorry, just to be clear, that's an analogy I'm, I'm for the growing the success of the are, atheist are the movement. Ocean. Okay, hey, wait, are the ocean or the island? 
Uh, are, are the island. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to try not to have too much fun with this. Okay. So the, uh, the volcano would be, for instance, the growing number of N-O-N-E nuns that they're finding in um, poles? Is that what you mean? Like yeah, religion think- is dying well, uh, overall? Yeah, uh, not only nuns, but the actual people who... Um, I give it the analogy of people are born with a filter in their heads. And someone comes along and starts putting little carbon nuggets into that filter. And the more pressure that's put on that filter, it starts to crystallize and then turn into a diamond. But as a human being, we've got the ability to flush that filter out of all that nonsense and put something other into it, like atheism. It's, yeah, easier said than done. It is easier said than done. So I think I've followed you. I think I'm going to walk through it again just to help because, you know, it helps sure. people to hear things in two ways. Do you mean that the way that human beings think is influenced by things that they're taught and told um, uh, throughout their life and that as atheists or through atheism, the fundamental epistemology that leads people to faith-based beliefs gets removed. And so they would be wiser and gain more converts if they tried to convert other Christians to their Christianity rather than atheists and skeptics. Is this somewhere? No, I'm saying saying just the opposite. I'm saying I was born, I, I was raised Christian. Okay. As a matter of fact, I was, I was raised Catholic. And I used to go to confession as a kid and make up um, sins that I did not commit because I was a good kid. I didn't rob, I didn't kill, I didn't rape, blah, blah, blah. But I thought if I went there and said, hey, I cussed five times, that the priest would not believe me. So I used to make up stuff. Wow. Because you were afraid of disappointing the N- no, priest, I suppose. I mean, I mean it's the whole I religion thing and confessing your sins is what's strange. And yes, I remember going in and saying, "I cursed five times, and I hit my sister, exactly. and all that stuff." And then they give you five hail marys, and it's all good. First. Yep, take yep. five hail marys and pray in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, the <laughs> it's a substitute for medicine. Yay! Right. I don't. I was raised yeah. Episcopalian. <laughs> We're the, we're the ones that are okay, not just with dancing, but with drinking as well. Um, yeah. Right. Sorry, I say that because there's a lot so of ex-Baptists I, about. So. My, my whole point uh, just being that, um, and um, I came out a little while ago to a good friend of mine, and this is the second time I'm coming out. But Congratulations. And, and that's where... Yeah. Hello? Hello. I, hello. I we just said congratulations. congratulations. You yeah. Were coming out. Yeah. Okay. Big deal. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's that. That's where I get back to the island with the volcano below it. Uh-huh. it it's it, more, more and more people are being educated through programs like yours to say this is the, the, you know you can think. Um, it, this doesn't sound right to me, but when someone else says, you're right, it doesn't sound right to me. This is not, this just either can't be or shouldn't be or whatever. Um, yeah. I'm a little confused yeah. because you just said that shows like this educate and yet at the beginning of the show. Definitely going to use in a commercial. Or something. Right. But, um, and, and then, uh, on the other hand, at the beginning of this, I think I recall you saying that we shouldn't do these shows anymore. Or no, I think he said that no, no, Christians no, no, shouldn't no, follow. No, Christians no, should no. Oh. Oh, oh, Christians should be afraid of engaging with us because we're successful in engaging with them. Is that it? Exactly. Yes. Got it. Okay. I win the prize. Yes, okay. you do. Um, <laughs> over here. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> so I missed it. Sorry. Uh, um, it's the donut. It's the sugar from the yeah. donut. I, I, what I will say is that having Kantoven and uh, others present what are basically rehashes of old arguments 
making them as long and peppering in as much quote unquote science as they can mm-hmm. and making them as complicated as possible promotes the idea among current believers that, well, of course there is a God. Here's a really smart person that knows things I don't know, and he's figured it out. Which, in some cases, is the way that human beings operate, right? Like, I, if I were to go into surgery, I wouldn't be grilling the anesthesiologist about how those work, because that would be a whole series of biology and chemistry that I don't think I'd be prepared for, and I'd just like to get surgery and get out. However, um, yeah, they should be running scared. We're coming for them. <laughs> in a logical and, and nonviolent way. <laughs> right. Sorry. Just, just heard that way. one back. <laughs> yeah. Just heard that one back. We're coming to talk to them. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. I'm reminded of the re- is that Republican who recently said that if we have a Democratic uh, sweep of things that uh, – we're gonna go wild in the streets. The, the oh my god! Oh my, me, my mo. No, sorry. I'm just I'm ah. just hearing. Uh, well, get your uh, coat hangers ready, uh, Democrat. Yeah. yeah. Which okay, in his defense, that wasn't as bad as far as his intent. It's because he was being protested by uh-huh. having people throw coat hangers at him, and ah. so he was saying, "Get your implements for protest ready," as right. opposed to, "Get your homemade abortion kits ready." Um, however, yeah, he really missed the script on that one. Mm-hmm. In any case, Mark, I think that it's an interesting point to make that, um, I don't know, I, I can give myself a pat on the back and say, yeah, they should, they're should they running scared. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, well, I, I think, thank you for calling in. I don't know that... Uh, um, okay, before I go, though, uh-huh. um, may, I, I would like to say one thing about Tracy. Um, I think she is very smart, but I think she has a patrician Egyptian beauty about her that I, I really enjoy. Wow. All right. uh, not appropriate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. She's, yeah. Well, Tracy's well, fucking well, amazing. Why, why is it? Yeah. Well, well commentating on her appearance, well, yeah. not, yeah. I, I yeah. mean, I know you mean well, I mean, but I, if I'm sitting here and somebody's commenting on my appearance, I'm like, uh, yeah. It's not why I'm here, it's, it's, and you wouldn't. Uh, you well, pro- I, no I offense, Jamie. Stated that I appreciate her intelligence. No, it's, right. it's goes beyond. So, I have seen. I have seen yeah. Egyptian art, so, and when I see her, that's what I see. So okay. here's what I will say, Mark. I think in general it differs from person to person, but the underlying assumption should be that if you're going to comment on a person's appearance it's it's always better to know them and know them well enough to know that that's okay um i'm going to not help here by saying that i'm vain enough that i like to hear about how great i am and also weird enough that uh i actually kind of have there's you know there's there's a pleasure from going back and reading the YouTube comments because that's always a source of like, oh, that's your criticism. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, in general, you know, you should assume that someone's appearance is their own rather than yours to comment on. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I think that's too PC, but that, that those oh. are your opinions. I, I would encourage you to think about it. But in any yeah. case, Mark, I think we're going to, I mean... I think we better. Okay, well, the next yeah. Jamie, you just, you just, you just were the opposite side of the coin. You enjoy that. Y- yes, uh, but let's that be you clear. Enjoy but that. Here, here's here's sort of the difference: is I'm I'm telling people that I enjoy that, so that they will know whether or not that's a thing they can do. And women being, hear it all the time. Yeah. It's one of the things that defines our value. Yeah. And so, if you're going to even preface it with, she's super smart, but she's pretty. Uh, I, I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little snarky. This, uh, it's not what... There was no caveat but. There was no caveat no. but. Right, okay. I said so, she's smart and she has a beauty right. that I, I do not sexually appreciate. I Ooh. appreciate okay. as, as right. art. Okay. okay. I, all right. All right. Thanks for right. calling in, Mark. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Well, at least now not all of the Can comments... Can I get some soap in here to clean my ears out a little bit? <laughs> at least now not all of I'm the comments will be about 
uh, on YouTube will be angry people saying we're too PC. Some of yeah. them, a significant portion, will be people picking up all of the obvious setups for jokes that were there. Okay. Um, so PC it, just means you're using words that make people comfortable. Yeah. And if you have a problem with the word PC, it kind of means you need to rethink. I don't know. I feel oh, like instead of people. having PC stand for politically correct, it should stand for polite and considerate. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I, hey. yeah. yeah. Well, I also think it should be just politically yeah. correct because it, it's it is I mean, polite and considerate. Yeah. But just be thoughtful of what other yeah. people would say. And if somebody from that demographic says that it's not cool, really listen hard. And I'm from that demographic, and yeah. I've really, so, I, you know. What I, what I will say is. To to the limited degree that there's context, it adds a level of concern, right? So yeah. people are, other people have things about them that are different than me. They have a different experience in life yeah. that's affected by uh, their height, their weight, the, the way they speak, the language they speak, where mm -hmm. they were born, uh, the culture they're in, their parents, all of these things, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Context matters. Like if Con my husband says that I'm gorgeous, yeah. yeah, but a random guy, yeah. that's a little weird. That's a little weird. It's a yeah. little it's inappropriate. Like, uh, if, if I think one of the ways, and I haven't actually tried this, that might be helpful to explain why this is of concern and why you should consider changing your model to people that don't yet agree is that if you meet someone for the first time and the first thing you say is, wow, you are sexually attractive, um, the odds that... Or even the second thing. Or even the second thing. The odds that you're going to get the kind of positive response that you might want out of that have diminished significantly. If you meet someone and you get to know them as a human being, that is actually the first the thing, the second thing I've described is the first step in a series of things that can lead to dating and could eventually lead to a physical relationship. Mm -hmm. But I think a person's ability to understand that there's a difference in context, at the very least, of how well you know someone and what their response is mm -hmm. and caring about whether or not they are happy or comfortable mm -hmm. To me, that should be sufficient to understand what yeah, we're talking and the, about. Yeah, and the thing that I've seen change with the Me Too movement is before when that sort of thing would happen to me, there would be kind of an awkward, okay, that just happened, and, and people would look at their shoes and walk away. Now, now that it's been in everybody's face, I feel much more comfortable to say, that's not cool. Yeah. You need to rethink how you approach people, especially yeah. those you don't know so well. So yeah. there's that. There's that. Yeah. Getting a little. Right. We're getting a little. Uh, it's less to do with atheism, more to do with. Oh, I think it has a lot to do with um, well, social treating people yeah. well. Yeah. And atheism, we're positive around here, and so that's we true. Believe it's, in, it, it is a part want, of your complete positive atheist culture. Yeah, secular hum humanist here, mm -hmm. big time. Yeah. Be a healthy part of your complete atheist breakfast. Listen to what they want and honor that. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. As opposed to, I suppose it could be related because of the context that the Bible provides for as far as the treatment of women specifically. It's like, who, whom would you ask about, oh, is this person comfortable? Is this appropriate? An ancient book that supposedly, you know, captures the will of a deity or that person who's standing in front of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My answer is the human being. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. In any case, ready. Uh, let's go to 